Hello everyone, and welcome back to a super spooky hooked reading. Oh my god. <laughs> I I already feel it in my pants, isn't that crazy? <laughs> anyway, this one is called Locked In by E.J. Leonard. It has 101,000 views. So this video will easily get more than that. Then uh, Okay. I'm doing you a favor, EJ. Uh, it's, uh, it, the, the description just... Fuck you. The description just says, Kelly, so embarrassing story, dot, dot, dot. Now, I scrolled to horror, and I made sure this one was in the exact horror section, not the popular section. Even though when you start the app, it asks you, what do you want, romance or horror? I said horror. And they threw in romance, too. I don't know. So, we, we were tricked once. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you again. So we're going to go with this story and, and let's, let's jump right into it. So it starts off with Kelly saying, So, embarrassing story. Jen replies, Why? Kelly says, I maybe, kinda, sorta, might be stuck inside one of the lockers at school. <sighs> oh no. Is she in hell? Let's just, let's just throw that out there now because this has happened before. Am I right, people? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Kelly continues, and I need help. Hello? Clearly Jen is like, probably sucking some dick or like opening some mail or some shit. Way more important than answering Kelly. I'm sorry, I fell off my bed laughing. Oh, that's such bullshit. No, she didn't. No one... Anytime... Anyone ever says that? Like, LOL online nowadays doesn't mean, like, I'm actually laughing. LOL means more of a scoff. Like, <laughs> like that's it. That's all LOL. Laugh out loud means is just, <laughs> that's it. Or just, that's it. That's all LOL means. So, no. You didn't fall off your fucking bed. No one's laughing their ass off. No. No. I'm far too cynical for that shit. Kelly says, come on, I'm serious. I'm freaking out in here. Jen replies, what the hell are you doing at school at 1 a.m.? <laughs> That's my question too, Jen. Jen's smart. Kelly says, I wanted to play that prank on Dana. <laughs> oh, Dana's going to be pissed. While I was trying to write bitch on her locker. That's a prank. Oh, I guess if you look at YouTube, that would be considered a prank. The janitor came, so I locked myself in mine. So clearly you have a locker right near her. Man, must be... Real good prankster. No one would figure you out. Jen replies, you didn't go to the bathroom? Shut up and get me out of here. Uh, I didn't want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Fine. On my way. So Jen's just going to break into their fucking school. Who cares? Not a big fucking deal. Shit happens all the time. 1 a.m. Don't call the cops. Don't have the cops deal with it. No. You go and break into your school at 1 a.m. Yeah. Good idea. Kelly says, you know this place is creepy at night. How do you guys know, like, 1 a.m.? Like, is this, do you guys typically stay at this fucking school that long? God, I would have shot myself. How so? Just noises and shit. It's like, it's kind of like a building or something. There's noises. Kind of like a huge building with tons of rooms. With heating or air conditioning. And it just kind of does its own thing automatically. It's on kind of a timer. Or it just detects the temperature and, and arranges what, what the temperature is supposed to be at. So, you know, there are noise and shit. And it's scary. But it must be ghosts. It can't, it can't just be something natural. It's going to be ghosts. I was walking down the hall and heard these footsteps behind me. When I turned, nothing. After you were locked... The, are you actually locked in a locker right now? What the fuck... Ha when the fuck did this happen? That place is totally haunted. Then why'd you ask, what do you mean by the noises and shit and it being creepy? Why did, you know this place is creepy at night. Oh, really? How? Uh, I turned around because I thought someone was following me. Nothing. Oh my God. Yeah, that place is haunted. You, fucking idiot. Don't say that. <laughs> Seriously, a teacher murdered one of his students there in the 70s. Jen, you're really not helping at all. Jen, you're kind of a bitch, but I love it. What? How do you know? Everybody knows. Mm, except for you, Kelly. Fucking idiot. 
This guy, Mr. Sampson, asked one of his students to stay after school. That had a lot of S's in it, didn't it? Cut open his throat. Ooh, he must have been a little shit. Must have deserved it. Can we please talk about anything else? Ah, <laughs> oh, Kelly's done. Sorry, LOL. There it is. Sorry. That's it. Not sorry. <laughs> no. It's literally sorry. That's it. That's what LOL means. That little, at the end, that little, that is LOL. Sorry. Just come get me out of here. Shit. Uh oh, something happened to Kelly. What? I'm hearing footsteps again. Probably the janitor again. No. His footsteps are different. I know how he, you know how he has that bum leg that he drags. It's a step, drag, step, drag. Yeah, that ain't that. It ain't that. How do you know? Jen is investigating. Not shoving the broom along. Does the janitor have to be bro Let me guess, is he Mexican too? Like, why, why are we stereotyping janitors here? It's like, you know janitors can't walk unless they're pushing a broom at the same time. It's just, their anatomy doesn't allow for it. Oh my god. Well, whoever it is, luckily you're safe inside a locker, lol. There it is again. There it is, just... <laughs> safe inside a locker. <laughs> That's it. I'm serious, they're coming closer! Chill out, it's probably nobody. How is that possible, Jen? If there are footsteps, how is it nobody making them? Nobody. Fucking idiot. They stopped in front of my locker. I'm still texting. The light's just beaming in my face. You can probably see it through those little fucking vents that they have in there to keep kids from suffocating when they get locked inside the locker. Oh my God, it's awful. Probably because you're making noise. Hmm. Jen's a little passive aggressive, I think. Ask them to get you out. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. Jen's a fucking genius. No, something feels off. You're just paranoid. OMG, <gasps> they banged on my locker. Oh my god, this is intense. This is intense. It's like Boy Scouts at night. Intense. <laughs> All right. Did you make any noise? I covered my mouth. Maybe they are scared and know someone is in there and that's freaking them out? Yeah, because if they're terrified, they think someone's in that fucking locker right now. I'm going to go walk to it and bang on it and just stand there. Fucking Jen's a fucking moron. I can hear them breathing. <laughs> It's a guy. I could tell. His penis is coming through the vents. How do you know? I just do. See? That's what happened. That's what happened and she just... I don't, I don't want to talk about it. They banged again. What are they banging exactly? How do you know it's a dude? What are they banging? Kelly. Your name's Kelly, right? Yeah, Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> really? Slut. Jen, can you see anything through the grate? She says. No, Kelly says. You should just say something. Good idea. I'm scared. Do you think I should call the cops? Yeah, that's probably the thing you should have done first, Kelly. Uh, no, I think you should say something. Jen is in on this. I, I'm feeling it in my loins. It's a burning. I feel it. I'm not saying anything. I'm going to continue to sit here and text awkwardly. Fine, I'll call the cops, but you're probably going to get in trouble. Mm, uh oh, not me though. Me breaking into a school at like what, 1.30 a.m.? Not a big deal. No one's gonna arrest me. Fucking, cause I'm Jen. I don't care. <laughs> How far are you? 10 minutes. I had to sneak out, obvi, <laughs> obvi. I knew I shouldn't have come here. My heart is pounding. They'll probably just go away. Stay still. Mm. OMG, they just started pushing something in through the grate. Oh, God. What? What, Jen says? I don't know. It's too dark, Kelly says. Cockroaches! Kelly knows it's cockroaches! Oh, my God! Get me out of here! Jesus, he's blowing cockroaches. I just asked him to let me out, and he started laughing. Was it a real laugh, or was it like, LOL? Were you like, get me out of here, please? And he's just like... Because that's LOL. Cops are on their way, Jen says. Get me out, Kelly insists. Do you think this is someone trying to get revenge? I don't know. Kelly seems like kind of a twat, right? Bitch on someone's locker. 
I mean, you've pissed off a lot of people with things you've done. Jen's in on this. I'm telling you, Jen is so in on this. I don't know. I screamed to leave me alone and they started laughing again. It sounds like they are tearing something. OMG, the person is starting to duct tape the cracks. Didn't I just say fucking suffocating? Didn't I, did I, did I not say that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are the cops coming? They said they are on their way. Just try to be calm. I can't be calm. Ugh. He's duct taping the grate. I'll be stuck in here with the cockroaches. Oh, that's not why he's duct taping the grate. Seems like Jen might be in on this. Seems like Big Bad Daddy Rob might have gotten one again. What? How do you know? My little sister Amy finally owned up to who gave her the black eyes she had last week. Oh. Oh. Uh, said that you took her to the woods and smacked her around. What are you talking about? I told you to never lay a hand on my sister. I didn't touch your sister. Don't you lie to me. All you do is bully people. Now it's your turn. See, Jen's tone has changed. What is that hose you're putting against the grate? It's gas, right? Not me. It's a fireman friend of mine from the other district. Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. This is so dumb. This is just getting so... I mean, this was already very, very dumb. Awful. Awful. But, uh, this is... Yeah. Wow. OMG, it's water. Yeah. Okay. Perceptive, Jen says. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, he's got the hookup. Wink. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, Jen. You know my fear of drowning. Oh, what a, what a fucking stupid line. Oh, come on, Jen. You know... My fear of drowning. You know my fear of drowning. Jeez. No one would say that in that kind of situation. Be like, oh my god, please, please, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, I don't want to die. Not. You know of my fear of drowning. Jen. Stop it, Jen. You're damn right I do. Oh god. Please stop, Jen. I'll do anything. Take off your clothes. It's filling up fast. I told you, keep your filthy hands off my little sister. Why'd you put the cockroaches in if you're just going to drown them? What's the point? Get me out of here, please. See you in the morning. If you make it with a smile. Jen! And that's it. <laughs> wow. That was so fucking dumb. I, I just, I can't say enough. Wow. 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 I, I mean, the wall, it wouldn't even hold the water. The water would easily still come out, probably past the duct tape. All she'd really have to do is like poke in there or whatever and like kind of push it out. I mean, the firefighter's probably still there, but how the fuck did he get in with the hose and all that shit running out through the fucking door? I mean, give me a fucking break. Come on. And the water isn't going to just fill the fucking thing up. I mean, it, even so, a fire hose would probably blow her fucking head off. That's what, what that's what should have happened. He should have opened the door, been like, how about this, bitch? Psh, bam! Just fucking face full of water. Fucking brains everywhere, all over the back of the fucking locker. That's how it should have been. That's how it should have happened. That's what he should have done, but he didn't. No, he's duct taping cockroaches. He's some cockroaches. I'm gonna drown him. Don't worry about it. Uh, they're not gonna be alive for another, for another like two minutes, really. I mean, it's the water just gonna flood, and you know, it's not really gonna matter. And uh, yeah, but you know, the cockroaches. I just decided to pick some up at the local cockroach R Us, uh, Toys R Us. Represent peace. Love you. Um, and I don't. I just, <laughs> and then he just sticks a hose in, just a little hose, a little garden hose, and then fills it up. I don't know how he fit it through the grate, but whatever. Let's just put logic to the side and uh then he started filling it up obviously the water would drain out through the sides and all that he'd have to secure every fucking uh, why i'm trying to understand this shit i don't know i have no fucking idea i have no meaning in my life anymore okay i'm done i can't anymore but i'll see you next time with another hooked reading i will <laughs> oh god holy fuck and this is the end screen be sure to check out another video of mine and press above to subscribe even though it doesn't matter because the more i upload the less subscribers i get actually i hemorrhage subscribers so uh please subscribe i guess bye fuck <laughs>